Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. We're actually still here at Grand Hyatt Hotel for our, well, birthday weekend staycation for the wife. Uh, but for today, we're going to do a quick review of my favorite Jordan 1 sneaker so far for 2019. Well, it's not so far because 2019 is about to end. We're literally two months away before the end of the decade and we entered the gen, I don't know, the... 2020 phase of the universe. But anyway, so today we're going to review the Jordan 1 Obsidian. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we have ongoing giveaways. In fact, the latest one features the Redmi 8 smartphone combined with the Redmi Smart Band 4 as well as true wireless earphones. So one person wins all three, guys. So make sure that you're subscribed, follow me on IG, join our Facebook community, and the link to the mechanics of the giveaway can be found down below in the description box. Good luck. We saw a bunch of Jordan 1s this year, ranging from the most recent Shattered Backboard 3.0 to the Gym Red to the Defiant with the one with the weird swoosh along the side. We had the Defiant Couture, we had the Turbo Green, we had the Rookie of the Year, and a bunch more of other Jordan 1s that just came out. Of course, one of the most hype one is the Travis Scott Jordan 1s, which I think a lot of people will call like the absolute best Jordan 1 of 2019 because of the hype behind it. But I will kind of disqualify that because I think it's just on a whole different level because it is just so hard to get and it is so expensive. When it comes to a practical choice though for Jordan 1s, this I think is really one of the best options that you can buy today. This is the Jordan 1 Obsidian. Now there are three reasons why I like it. First is the quality of the leather. I have bought pretty much most of the Jordan 1s that came out in 2019 and this by far has some of the best leather build uh, that they've had for the Jordan 1 uh, this year. If you take a look at the tumble leather here at the toe box, it's a little bit firmer uh, and it isn't as soft and as supple, which is good because it kind of looks much more premium and feels much more premium as well. The leather here along the mud guard is also far better compared to the previous Jordan ones that I've seen and that extends all the way here to the swoosh, back to the heel and even here along the collar. So in terms of you know, leather quality, I really have nothing bad to say. Uh, actually, not just leather quality, but build quality overall. There are minimal issues that I see with it, which is something that I can't say with the previous Jordans, Jordan ones that I bought. Most of them had QC, a quality control issues. In fact, the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0 that I bought, one of the holes wasn't, well, you know, well punched through so it i really literally couldn't put the laces through them which was like a big issue that i had with that particular sneaker i mean you pay so much for sneakers like this and to have like minor not not, not those aren't even minor like major quality control issues with that with, with sneakers like this man it just makes me scratch my head so that's the first thing the quality of the build and the leather Two is the color blocking. I just love the contrast of the dark blue or the obsidian with the white and the UNC baby blue as you go back here near the heel and collar of the shoe. I mean, it's just an easy to rock colorway. It, it isn't something that demands like a lot of thought when you want to put it on and you're thinking of what your outfit is. But at the same time, it just looks timeless and classic, especially if you put in the more subtle dark laces. Speaking of laces, it originally came in this. So this is the dark blue lace. So I'll put like a video montage here of the sneaker being worn on feet with the dark blue laces. And as you can see with the video, if it's dark blue, it's more subtle, it's more easier to wear, it is not as hype beast as, as well people would want to wear it. Now if you want to give it more pop, you can swap in the UNC baby blue laces which give it a little more personality uh, and hype. So you can do that as well. I'll put a montage as well of it being worn together with the hype blue laces if you want to do that. And one trend that a lot of people are doing lately is that they use wear different colored laces for each pair. So you can actually put the dark blue on one pair and you can put the baby blue on one pair and you can go all hype beast with that kind of thinking. So again, uh, the video overlay would show that so you get an idea of what it would look like. Of the three different looks, which is the one that you prefer the most? Do you want one with the all dark blue? The one with the baby blue or one with baby blue and one with dark blue? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Personally, I kind of prefer it with the all dark blue, but that's the old guy and me speaking. And lastly, 
it's not insane resale price for the Obsidian ones. I think you can get one here in the Philippines anywhere from 10,000 to 15,000 depending on your size and depending on where you buy it. I actually picked this one up from sneakers and such over at Shangri-La. Shout out to Tintin and Julius Baba for the hookup on this pair. Uh, but you can also check out like other shops that carry a lot of Jordan ones. You can check out Cop Garden, uh, Shugi Manila, Got Goods, Foot Soldier Manila, and a ton of other our reseller shops and the prices aren't really that insane which is actually kind of good because most of the time when you pay resale on certain super hype sneakers the quality of the build and the QC isn't really that good so at least for this pair you get a well-designed classic timeless shoe that you can wear for years to come that's built pretty well and you have versatility when it comes to the styling because of the different shoelaces that you can pop in this shoe and that wraps up our review of the Jordan 1 Obsidian. If you guys like the sneaker, please do give this video a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Also, if you haven't watched the video uh, where I did sneaker shopping with Julius Baba over at Sneakers and Such at Styled, I will put a link to that down below. I also did like the first unboxing uh, of the sneaker when I first bought it, uh, well, during that particular shopping trip. So again, guys, check that out. The link to that video down below. I hope you all had a restful and meaningful long weekend and I pray that you all have an amazing week ahead. Peace, God bless, what's up, boom.